Welcome back traders. So the Alolan Exeggutor has now vanished from the wild for now. And uh, that is that. So hopefully you caught yourself a good IV one and a decent CP and plenty of them. Now don't transfer them because, well, they're gone. So make sure you sort through them to see which ones are good and which ones you want to toss. Like for instance, <laughs> like 35 CP, 36 CP and stuff like that. But I think I'll toss like a couple of these here and keep the 35 just because of that and then we have my dragon fruit which is the 91 percent maxed out and i am happy with that now as far as how good is it i mean we've gone over this i mean it's okay you know it's a fun pokemon to use it's fantastic uh water attacker to destroy those water pokemon with bullet seed and solar beam especially in the sunny weather um and it has a pretty good dragon moveset as well and then I have my all grass attack. And as you can see, there is the weather boost for you. Uh, pretty good on the solar beam attack. I mean, so that's pretty good, all right? The only thing I don't like is uh, how you can't see it. <laughs> it's kind of like uh, a little irritating to me, just a little bit, but that's what it is. So anyways, there you have it. <laughs> Hopefully you caught yourself a good one. So let's go ahead and I'm hatching my eggs right now. So we just need to go to Exigator. And I just want to look in the Pokedex and see if it shows your encounters. So you just go to the regular Exigator, and then it has the Alola form there. So I think it just adds on. Because if you can see the number there, it doesn't change when I go back and forth. Just the weight does. And the type. And the height. So <laughs> they're mixed in. Interesting. Alrighty. So if I had to pick one of these to use and keep, say somebody said we had to pick one and then you can never use the other one ever again, uh, I would go for this one, the regular one, definitely because its attack is higher and has the same moveset. And that's, I mean, that's it. They're both are the same other than the Alolan form has three less attack, okay? And the moveset as well. So yeah, there you have it. Okay, so about the whole Zapdos thing and uh, Articuno, so what I did wrong was I went, I actually went in. I didn't see the Zapdos itself, but I, I went too far. You can claim the stamps, just do not open the box and see Professor Willow. You should be okay. So as you can see, I have three stamps already. You know, that's pretty interesting. One is from today. So what happened was I, I opened the box and even if you do that, and all the stamps are still going to be there. It's going to say, you know, claim claim the box, the big one at the top, right? Your breakthrough. Uh, I was still doing my research breakthrough, so it was still counting those. So at least that's, you know, I only have to wait four more days. That's pretty good. So uh, that's uh, out of the way. I just wanted to show you guys. Now let's go ahead and go to news here. And let's see what we have. Community Day starts on june 16th and this is going to lead us up to the eggs that i'm about to hatch and preparing ourselves for community day and how can you do it well while this event is going for a few more days i highly recommend you either walk larvitar or i don't know i mean that's pretty much all you can do because you can't really hatch them at will it's just kind of random right it's not kind of random it is completely random so uh, with that said i'm going to show you my nice egg hatches and we are going to go take a look at that and you know there's been a few predictions out there for the future community days as well and um metagross is on the list obviously not a metagross shiny metagross day but it you know the first evolution build them so i have hatched a couple of those as well so we'll take a look at all these egg hatches let's go right now okay so we have 14 10ks 53 eggs in total so this is pretty intense right here uh, I'm pretty stacked on my Lavatar candies. Hatched quite a few of these. I don't know. It was pretty random. I was happy with it. Seeing we have this event coming up, I'll take it. And it could take any one that has good IVs as well. So I can power those up and max them out. I plan to max out, I'd say, uh, I don't know, maybe like four. I don't, I think that's still pushing it. I, I think I only need like two or three to test it out. It's really good. Then I'll power them up. I'm going to make several, of course. I'll make six of them. Um, and then determine whether or not I want to power it up. Obviously, it's going to be the best rock attacker in the game now, but um, that's a lot of Stardust investment for something that I can fill in with a golem at the moment. <laughs> all right, anyways, let's go ahead and check out the rest of these, and I'll be catching you all later, trainers. Thank you for watching.